to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing and demoing the Kylie Peach Palette. I recently got this in about a week ago. I got it when they did their official launch. And I was so excited to get it because every time she comes out with a new product, I never get my hands on them. I'm like always slow or like I miss out. So I was literally like in Kmart shopping when this palette went on sale and I was like, people thought I was probably like a freak because I was sitting there like freaking out, like waiting um, to see if it my order went through or not and it did and I was so excited to get it and um, yeah so this is what the packaging looks like it has of course Kylie's beautiful eyes and this really pretty look um, I actually did want to create or recreate this look but I saw so many other youtubers do it so I you know didn't want to do what everybody else did because there's so many looks on this look already so stay tuned to the end of the video to see I think about this palette and if I like it this is what the palette looks like and this is the back of it it is a really huge palette which I love it does come with a big mirror and it says Kylie right here and then it comes with 12 shadows 12 beautiful shadows when I first saw her post this I was like I need to have it especially because of this blue color so beautiful. I'm pretty sure you guys just want to get into this tour already. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, so I'm not really sure what colors like I want to do. Like I don't have this tutorial planned out or anything. So first we're going to prime our eyelids. I'm going to be using my Anastasia concealer in the shade 1.5 all over my lid. I've actually been really liking this concealer um, rather than using a primer. Then as always I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade Translucent and I'm just going to set that. This is to ensure that all the eyeshadows will just glide on and blend smoothly. You don't have to do this step but I find that this does really make a difference when I'm applying my eyeshadow. I take a fluffy brush. I'm going to take the Morphe R37 and I'm going to go in to this really light peachy shade right here. This is in the shade Sorbet. I'm going to take some of that and I'm just going to apply this into my crease. And I really want the transitions of all these colors to just look really smooth, so I'm going to really take my time blending. So my first impression of these shadows is that they do blend very well. I noticed that the minute I um, put the product on my eye and started to blend, the, the product did start to distribute very evenly and nicely. Um, there are some shadows that will literally like just stick in one place and I'll really have to like go in there and be blending for like 30 minutes just to get them to look really smooth and nicely transitioned. I'm going to go in with that same brush and I'm going to go into the shade um, Peachy which is this um, shade right here and also apply this into the crease as well. I really want to take my time blending this color out because it is a little bit more pigmented and a little darker. I take this color right here. This is in the shade Cinnamon and I am going to use the brush that comes in the palette. Just going to dab a little bit of that and I'm just going to deepen up this crease. So basically I'm going to focus this color basically mapping out the shape of my eye. So I'm just going to go back and forth like this and this motion. Make sure right here in the inner corner I'm really blending it. Brush is actually doing a really good job blending it out. Now going in with my Morphe M330 brush, I'm going to take um, that original color right here which was Sorbet. I'm going to take a little bit of that on my brush and I'm just going to take this to blend out to the very top of this. And this is just going to smooth out the transition right here. Now for the lid color, I'm going to take the color Duke and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. And I'm just using this um, Shot Miss A brush in the number E122. It's a just like a fat um, synthetic brush.
and actually this shadow really clashed I thought it was gonna be like mixed in better so we're actually gonna go in with the bronze shade in the palette and this is in the shade Duchess and I'm going to take um, this Anastasia double ender brush this comes in the modern Renaissance palette I'm gonna take some of that bronze color and I'm just going to apply it over um, that color Okay, and then on the other side of that double-ended brush, I'm going to go in with this really light brown shade in the shade Sandy. And I'm going to take that with the other end of that Anastasia brush and just go ahead and apply that into the crease just to give this a little bit more dimension. Okay, and then going back in with the Kylie brush and back in with the shade Cinnamon, I'm going to apply a little bit more of this a little bit above the crease. I'm going to take a little bit of Champagne Pop from Becca and I'm going to take the Morphe E18 brush and I'm going to pop this in my inner corner. I'm actually going to take some of that Champagne Pop and I'm going to apply that onto the center of my lid. I feel like it's just too like, you know, it's too one color. So I just want to lighten up the middle of the, my eyelid with that. One more time, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia brush and just go ahead and just blend out the top of that. Okay, so now for liquid liner, I'm going to take my NYC liquid liner in black and I'm just going to do a wing. Then for eyeliner, I'm using my ColourPop Eyeliner in Swerve. I'm going to now prep my eyelashes for my falsies. And I'm going to use the Jordana Best Lash Extreme on my top lashes. And going back to the palette, I'm going to take the color Cinnamon. And I'm going to apply that um, on my lower lash line with my Morphe E18 brush. Then I'm going to go back in with that mascara and do my bottom lashes. For lashes, I'm going to be using my Coco Goddess lashes. And this is the finished look. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, overall, I feel like the Kylie palette is a really nice palette. Um, before filming this video, I did hear that a lot of people were saying that their palettes smelt like chemicals. When I first heard that, I was like, okay, like I didn't notice anything because I did already open up this palette. I didn't swatch any of the shadows or anything, but I did like look at it and everything. So when I did first open it, and this was um, before like I even heard any of these rumors or anything like that, and when I opened it, I didn't smell anything. Then I heard people saying, oh, it smells like... Like it smells chemically and all of this stuff and I went and grabbed my palette and it actually really does smell like chemicals. It's definitely the eyeshadows and not the packaging and because I buy off AliExpress so much I know what chemicals smell like because a lot of my makeup from AliExpress actually smells like this. It almost smells like like spray can like that's to me that's what it smells like. It smells like a spray can like when you're all out of like stuff. Um, and you just have that like air that sprays out. That's what it smells like. I am not going to email customer service because of it because I can't smell it when it's on my eyes and unless I'm like sitting here like sniffing my palette, um, I don't think it would really affect me much. So I'm actually going to see if the shadow breaks me out or anything like that. Obviously if it does and gives me a rash then I definitely will message customer service. But to me, um, I feel like all makeup smells weird. That is where I'm at on this. And that I do highly recommend this palette. I feel like this one is like the, the best one out of all of her palettes. I do only have three out of the four. I feel like she really did a great job with these shadows. They are definitely blendable. Um, I honestly haven't used all of the shadows as you know in the tutorial. And I did only use a couple. I'm really excited to play with this blue shade. So I will be doing a tutorial with this. Of course, again, you guys will see this again. Again, that is my little review. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. And if you do recreate this look, be sure to tag me on Instagram, Twitter, and everything like that. All my links are always down in the description bar. And with that, I think that's everything I have to say for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yeah. I like to make money get turned. I like to make money.